Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel now so you can get more of them. And if you want to see this watch for sale, see it on our website, thewatchbox.com, with additional photos, boxes, papers, and accessories. And of course, pricing. Today we're discussing the Tudor Heritage Black Bay Bronze Blue Booker Edition. The second of the Booker Editions, this one came out in 2018 and represented a 130th birthday present to the European jewelry and watch super dealer. The timepiece on my wrist is easy to wear despite the fact that it is 43 millimeters in diameter. Now my wrist is 16 centimeters in circumference, so you get a good sense of how this watch wears on a smaller male wrist. Of course, my wrist is oval in profile and that does help because 43 millimeters across the case, the watch is also fairly broad at about 52.7 millimeters from lug to lug. Now as with all Tudor timepieces, one of the key distinctions between Tudor and Rolex is generally case thickness. So the watch does have a thickness of 14 14.6, which still makes it quite viable with a dress cuff. As you'll note, once it's strapped down, it does sit lower than its outright thickness, and it has a sloped bezel and crystal, so even if it won't slip underneath a dress sleeve, you'll have no trouble with a jacket. 23 millimeter lug spacing if you wish to accessorize, and you'll have a world of options. Plus, old school Rolex fans, you do have those strap tool apertures on both lugs to make swapping a breeze. The strap is substantial and handsome. As you can see, it's a rustic finish with a shear cut. A shear cut allows you to see the layers of the strap built up and you can see just how thick it is. It's over an eighth of an inch thick and beautifully executed with a combination of natural colors, earth tones, blacks and browns with a suede texture on the underside for suplex against the wrist. A bronze pin buckle makes for easy adjustments. You'll note it's both satin finished and oversized so it looks good and it's easy to use. Blazing with the Tudor logo, this one's fully branded. Of course, there's no constraint in the movement of the strap. It folds straight down around around your wrist. Let's get close now that we don't need to watch it on my wrist. So the close hold shots reveals the elements that make Tudor so endearing. You have the original beveled look of a vintage Tudor or Rolex watch, a look that's been lost to history, at least in the Rolex catalog, still going strong among Tudor heritage models. Satin finish, you'll note, it's all of satin finish. The Black Bay Bronze debuted at Basel World 2016. This example right here with the satin finish and the muted tones has no real patina about it, so its story is yet to be written. They will all take on a distinctive look individually over time so that no two are exactly alike. The bezel is unidirectional rotating, so it can only shorten the dive, not extend, line it up with the minute hand. Now you have an impromptu zero to 60 minute timer. I find it more readable, a dive bezel, than a conventional chronograph. The indices are all gold plated and applied, beautifully blazoned with Luminova. There is tri Arabics, three, six, and nine with triangular index at 12 o'clock, and a little nod to the old snowflake dials of the late 60s through mid 70s. Though this watch is more inspired by Submariners from the Tudor line of the 50s and 60s, you do have a little bit of a nod to the 60s and 70s there. Blue dial, blue bezel insert, Bucherer blue, and on the case back, you can see Blazon with Bucherer commemorative graphics. Bucherer 1888. Now underneath, you have an in-house caliber automatic winding with hacking seconds, a COSC certified Swiss chronometer with a full balance bridge, and a free sprung index for toughness, and a silicon hairspring for anti-magnetic qualities. Now the watch does have the screwed in case back and a screw down crown, and you'll note the curiosity of the crown having the vintage Tudor logo, and the dial having the modern shoe logo, both are featured. 200 meter water resistance for this chronometer and this special edition is as useful on the wrist for diving and recreation as any Tudor Heritage Black Bay. A little bit larger than the norm, the 43 millimeters is distinctive of the Black Bay Bronze Collection. See this one in Booker or Blue and own it on our website. And we're back with the Tudor Heritage Black Bay Bronze Blue Booker Edition. Blue by day and bronze for that matter, beautifully blazing in green by night. Note that distinctive diamond style seconds hand at snowflake hour. See this one by the light of day and own it on our website. 